Hey guys, it's Chloe. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I have a little bit of a different video for you today. As you can tell, I'm not in my garage. I'm actually at SEMA in Las Vegas. I'm here at the Toyota booth. Obviously behind me, we've got the brand new Tundra Trail Hunter Edition. And before we even get started with this video, I just wanted to give a huge, huge thank you to Miller Cat for even bringing me here. I have a bunch of videos installing their cat shield that I'll have linked down below if you're interested. This video is going to be all about walking around my favorite Toyota here at the Toyota booth, the TRD Pro Sequoia built by Westcott Design. So let's get over there and take a look. Hey you guys, I'm here with Jeff Westcott. This is the man behind Westcott Designs who's got this awesome Sequoia TRD Pro here at the Toyota booth at SEMA 2022. Real quick, Westcott Designs, can you give me a spiel about what you guys sell exactly, what it is? So basically with our company, we just try to build very high, high-end quality parts, you know, yeah. for all the current model Toyotas, SUVs and pickups. Um, one of them is very popular is our lift kits that we do. Uh, another one being our rock sliders, uh, another one being our roof racks, and then our ladder for the four, uh, fifth gen forerunners as well. So we do, we've got a, right now, I think we started with one part three and a half years ago, and now we have over 100 SKUs. Yeah, it's amazing how much you guys have grown. And I have a couple of different Westcott Designs products here on my channel as well that you guys can check out if you want. I'll have it linked down below. But of course, you guys are here to see a walk around of possibly my favorite vehicle here at SEMA. So Jeff, could you give us a walk around of what you've built here? Sure, I'd love to show you what we did and just some of the reasons why we did it and the things we did on that build. So. Kind of, I guess we could start up in the front here. Basically, we started with a 2023 uh, TRD Pro Sequoia. We wanted to change out the emblems. Like our rendering is pretty close to what this all was built on. So like these are all billet emblems and we try to tie everything with red anodized parts and billet hooks and stuff. So this is actually up in the front here. This, yeah, this, this is one of the hook. Easter eggs over here. Yeah, so this is actually, when you look down on this, this is actually designed in here to be one of the R's the R design off the front of the hook, the tow hook in here. And this is actually the original bucket for where the fog lights were located. Wow. So it made it look like it was factory came from there. How do you so, come up with stuff like this? I mean, it's just so creative and so amazing. Well, the R from TRD. I won't say it's all that it's all as me. It's our team and all the guys that from our team um, at the shop. So we collaborate a lot together. And I think about things like when I'm laying in bed and I think about things when I go hiking and whatever, when I actually have downtime to relax, um, I think about like different things that I wanna make or build or see there out in the marketplace or to just build something that's maybe a one-off for certain events like this one I'm here at, at Toyota. Yeah, so, absolutely, um, that's great work. So we did uh, one of Rigid's 20-inch light bars here, another one down here. We built all the brackets for both of these. We built all the ditch light brackets for those. We wanted to keep them really low profile. We also did a gusset through that to hold the heaviness of the light so we don't get any kind of vibration in that. Oh. Um, and then some of the coloring up in the hood obviously ties in with the, the theme of the truck. And then in the truck's hood here, you can see lightly, it says TRD Pro stamped in the hood. Yeah, so. it looks very good. And I'm not tall enough so I have to stand on my tippy toes to see, but yeah. it's a very good look. Yeah. Around the side here, like these were all camo, plastic camo um, from the factory. We wanted to tie all this kind of stuff into the window frames on the truck and, and that gloss finish. So I personally we, like this better than yeah. how the TRD Pros come stock. I think this looks much better and it matches. As far as the mirrors, these had the uh, textured finished mirror caps on them. And we did, we did white caps on it to match with the gloss here on the bottom. And then even on the side here, like the door handles, we wanted to tie this stuff in with the white door handles with the black backing on the door handles. Yeah. So everything was themed on this side of the truck, was all done in uh, ARP, uh, 12 point bolts, stainless, and we black oxide coated everything. As far as all the hardware on the roof rack, all the bolts on this side and the wheels and all that. And then on the other side, what we did is we did stainless hardware on the other side. So you really have two different looks going on the truck. And actually we have 
two different finished wheels on the truck. So we've got a polished finish on this side and we did a red anodized finish on the other side of the truck. I'd say that this truck has some Easter eggs in it. Yeah, and lots of Easter eggs. Yeah, and so Toyota has been doing that now with the new Sequo or the new Tundra. So we thought it would be cool to kind of do that with the Sequoia. And what we did is there's this ring here, the bead ring in the back here. You can see it's got triangles in, in here. And this triangle was then incorporated into this triangle back here, into this exhaust ring, which then we tied it in here to the roof rack on the, on the design here, and these triangles into here as well. So all those little triangles, and basically all the right angles that come off is where we kind of thought we're gonna do the same thing with all the that. little stuff like that. Because we ran the exhaust out the side here, the exhaust was located around the back of the vehicle, and because it had an opening in the back that was already contoured for the exhaust, we knew that like getting that part to replace that, to fill that gap was probably not gonna happen. We did is we designed this step, and this step actually folds up into the back of the vehicle, into the spot. So it hides up under there, and then it drops down, and allows you to step on that step to climb up the ladder to access the tent. I can't so. believe you just come up with these things. I could never come up with them in a yeah. million years, but you're really utilizing all the space you can and in a really efficient way, yeah. too. And we're trying to, we really want to try to do is just make it question, is, did that come from the factory, or is that a factory option, or is that something Absolutely. I could get from the factory in that way? And I think so, you do a great job yeah. with that. So you can see the jet skis out right now, yeah. and, and the arm was designed on this arm. So basically when you're looking out the mirror to back the jet ski in the water, that was so when you're backing in the water, you could see putting it into the water. Wow. So, and everybody says, well, why'd you match the jet ski to the vehicle? Well. Really, this is a factory color from Kawasaki back in 1984. Wow. So this is actually, this whole, everything done on this jet ski is factory for 84. The only thing it was in factory was obviously the matting and, and, and the stuff on it, but this was a factory option that you could get or the way you could get the jet ski back in 84. It's very so, incredible, and the design yeah. you can tell was very, very thoughtful and intentional. We even, we even took these colors and then matched those colors to cut the vinyl to make sure that the vinyl matched, and then we even took those colors to match the powder coat uh, to make sure all the colors were you know, within the same palette wow. of, of tones. So like stuff like that. I'll show you the back of the truck and then after I show you the back of the truck, I'll show you how this all closes up together. Now my favorite part, I have to say, of this build, I think is this TRD Pro stamp. That you guys might be wondering why, because it looks so factory. So Jeff, can you tell me how you guys exactly did this and what this is? So the only place this truck says TRD Pro is on the hood on that plastic piece, which you could buy that plastic piece, put it on and make yourself look like you got a TRD Pro. Yeah. So we thought that this truck needed some signature badge to identify that it is a TRD Pro. So yeah. this piece right here, what we did is we took a 2020 Tundra rear fender. We cut the TRD Pro out. And what we did is we Frenched it in here on the back of the door, and then obviously did all the body work and stuff to make it look like that's how it came. That so, is so incredible. Yeah. I This to me, you guys, like I said, it's my favorite part because it's so ingenious and it should come like this from the factory because if we look at the factory TRD Pro Sequoia that we have next to this truck, you can see that it doesn't have that. You know, some of the other little things we did is, this was a satin black, a textured black. We painted this gloss there again to match the taillight outer frame and the window frames. And then this was a chrome badge here with blue around it, and the blue signatured the uh, hybrid model of the vehicle. Yeah. And so we did as we thought, because it is a pro and it's sporty, and that some of our other red colors, we tied the red in and the black together, and we thought it really kind of made yeah. the back badge stand out on the back of it. I like this look a lot better personally. Yeah. And as you can see, uh, we talked about on the side all the black hardware. Um, identifying the black hardware on this side of the ladder and then identifying the stainless hardware on this side of the ladder. So it, like I said, it has two different looks on both sides of the car. Really, it just comes down to which side you like the best. So Very cool. As far as the way the rack works and folds up, closes like this. That locks in like that. This releases like that. And then that locks in like that. And wow. then you can see when it's all closed up, it all fits nice and tight. And of course, on the gas cans, we had to 
with that, let's go places. Absolutely. So, and yes, people say, well, the colors are backwards. Well, the colors are not backwards. So when the jet ski swung out, it matches the whole side of the car. And when the gas cans are swung out this side, it then matches the car going down this side. Yeah, so, like I said, very thoughtfully planned and very so. thoughtfully built. So this is the factory tailgate here on this truck. You can see the, the satin here and the blue and then the Sequoia writing across the back, how we removed all that and made the changes and then eliminated the exhaust. Yeah, Jeff, I think you're giving Toyota some ideas with this TRD Pro stamp back it there. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something like that in future models. Yeah, that'd be great to see that. It'd be yeah. super cool. <laughs> We move over to this side of the car. You can see that the roof rack was done in gloss and the gloss to match all the window framing in the car, the gloss with the fender liner corners, and then all stainless hardware here and here. And then this has the G400 Innovate wheels in the red anodized finish. And, and what size tires do you have on here? Because these are pretty big, so beefy these, tires. These are now the new NATO uh, Recon Grapplers. They're, they're in a 37, 12 and a half by 17 on this. I can't believe that you fit that on yeah, there. So did. you have your Westcott lift on here too? So this has our Westcott lift in the rear, but we also did an old man EMU uh, 0.75 medium load spring to offset for the weight of the vehicle or the jet ski in the back. And then in the front, it has just our uh, regular TRD Pro uh, lift kit, uh, collar lift in the front with the factory suspension. And then on this side, we actually did a little bit more aggressive slider where the other one had a zero degree with top plates. We did this one on a 20 degree with no top plates. Everything's designed to end at the back here. Um, so it's real smooth with the fender. And then up in the front here, we designed this to match the radius of the fender. Wow. So it's designed to just follow the body line here. That cut, so, that cut is so perfect. Yeah, so we wanted to keep it so it was super clean. These are actually direct bolt-on rock sliders. Uh, they don't require any hole drilling or anything like that. So we were able to do that. So to get these 37s to fit on the truck, we actually pinned back the fender liner here. And then what we did is we actually uh, took off a half inch on the front of the new safety mount that is in, on Toyota's new trucks. Yeah. Um, but it, we still left it there, so it still has some of the safety to add to any crash impact. But we definitely, we moved the liners back here. We ran Camberg's upper arms in the front here, so we were able to get some more adjustment in the uh, alignment to get the, car, the wheel centered up in the wheel well but we didn't have to cut any of the wheel wells out at all, the trim or trim anything. Uh, we were able to get it to fit in there really nice. And so we actually don't get any rubbing with these tires at all. And this this tire is a true 37 inch tire. Wow. So this is their new Re Recon Grappler. And so we wanted to bring them here and uh, show them to people. Yeah, it's incredible that you fit these under the truck. So yeah. very so, nice work. You know, and then uh, Trek was nice enough to get us these bikes and they have been painted and matched the uh, paint scheme of the vehicle. And then, um, even some of the, like the little detail things like the coloring in the side of the rack uh, to match the red, orange, and yellow on that. And then also on the Go Fast Camper, we did their name on the top and, and we kind of tied those colors in as well. Yeah, so, nice job with the color scheme and keeping yeah. it throughout the build, even on the accessories. You know, and it's just like we talked about, it's the little details, it's the little things that maybe somebody doesn't see or that we didn't point out to somebody and they're like, oh, wow, I didn't even think about that or I didn't even see that. Yeah. So it's those kind of things that we feel uh, make a big difference and really matter. And I know just from seeing your guys' products more and more, that's what you guys are really all about. The little details and making sure everything is absolutely yeah, perfect. So is. great I mean, work. We want to make sure our customers get the best stuff possible. Yeah. So again, we appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, Chloe, for your time. And thank you so much and congrats yeah. again on getting this thank build you. into the Toyota booth. If you guys want to check out more videos, definitely check out Westcott Designs channel. He does a lot of walk arounds as well. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Jeff, again, yeah, and it's you. always nice to see you. Yeah, thank you.